Mother, did you hear Mowgli's voice just now? No, dear. Now let's finish our prayers. I could have sworn I heard Mowgli. His voice was different, like an animal. Huh? This way. Right, Buldeo. Let's go, men. <laughs> that jungle brat thinks he can steal our buffalo. Time to teach him a lesson. Friends, it's time to head back to the jungle. What about this skin? I say we take it back with us and drape it over the council rock. Yes, I'm with Akru. Show the world we've defeated Shere Khan, the lawbreaker. Mowgli, what do you say? I'm sorry to disappoint everyone, but I have to carry this skin over to the human village. I want to show Bodeo that I kept my promise. Ah, I've grown weary of your foolish talk, jungle boy. Listen here, everyone. This boy is a liar. If he can hunt, then let him go into the forest and track down the tiger who's been attacking our livestock. How about that? Mowgli, the tiger's name is Shere Khan. Huh? <laughs> if he attacks again, I'll track him down. And then I will defeat him, I swear. You swear, do you? Well, boy, that's a very foolish thing you've sworn to do, but you can't squirm out of it now. We all heard you swear you'd catch that tiger. Go catch him then. I'm sorry, but I need the skin to show Boldeo that I kept my word. Why, of course, Mowgli, we all understand. And after all, the skin is yours. Not just mine. It also belongs to Wakru and Sura. Mm hmm <laughs> We don't mind if you take the skin to the village for a while, Mowgli. But be sure you return it to the wolf pack. That's right, Lala hasn't seen it. Akru! <laughs> <laughs> now don't be embarrassed, Sura. Lala should see the skin. Mowgli will bring it back. Mm-hmm. I promise I will. Fine. Now that we've solved that problem, we can start planning for a victory celebration. <laughs> Excellent idea, Bagheera. This should be fun. Look out, everyone! Humans are coming! One of them is armed! What? what? Humans, take cover! Thanks, Jill. Spread out. So, looks like I've caught you red-handed. Stealing buffalo is a crime, jungle boy. I did not steal those buffalo. They were helping me to trap Shere Khan. Quiet, boy. Stop your lying. You've been caught stealing buffalo, and now you'll pay for it. Huh? A tiger! Step aside! It's him, the one who attacked our livestock. Right, Shere Khan. I told you I would catch him. I kept my promise. What? You caught this animal? Bulldale, 
we counted the buffalo. We didn't lose a single one. Good. Now look at this. It's that dreaded tiger. What? Mm. He's enormous. And look at his fur. It's all burnt and discolored. Yes, I did that. I used fire to defeat him. Oh. Are you telling us that you used a simple torch to defeat this full-grown tiger? No, I had this as well. It is the knife of Wuhar. You hear that, everybody? This scrawny boy claims that he caught a tiger with nothing but a torch and a woodsman's knife. <laughs> hey, jungle boy, you're not fooling anybody. You couldn't possibly have caught the tiger by yourself. He's a liar! He's trying to make us forget that he stole our buffalo. Quiet, everyone. It certainly seems like the boy is lying, but it wouldn't be fair to condemn him without checking the evidence. Bindu, look around. See if you can find some clues. Mm. Find anything? The bodies of two jackals are nearby. Looks like their injuries were inflicted by buffalo horns. Mm. Buffalo horns? I should have known. There's our proof, jungle boy. It wasn't your knife that stopped the tiger. It was our buffalo. Huh? Well, everyone, what do you say? I knew that jungle boy was uh, lying. Uh, he, he didn't catch that, that tiger. tiger. No, uh, our uh, buffalo uh, did the job. Right. Since it was our buffalo that caught him, I guess that means that the tiger belongs to us. Right. Let's go have a closer look at our tiger. <laughs> look at the size of him. Biggest tiger I've ever seen. Even now there's a menacing glint in his eye. That little jungle boy could never have caught this brute by himself. The tiger would have disposed of him in a minute. It's clear that the boy's lying. He tried to steal our buffalo, and now he wants credit for the tiger they caught. I think he should be punished for lying and thievery. Who agrees with me? I do. He's as dishonest as an animal. An animal. No, Put the animal in a cage. Walk him away. That's the right spirit. We'll deal with the boy in due time. We'll also share the reward for this tiger, 100 rupees. Put the boy in a cage where he belongs! <laughs> Stop that! You have no right to tamper with this tiger! I always burn the whiskers of the animals I catch. Now step back, jungle boy. You're in enough trouble as it is. Stop! The skin will be damaged. My friends will be angry. Your friends? There's no one around here you could call a friend. <laughs> Huh? Well, I... You what, jungle boy? Told another lie, didn't you? It's not a lie! Please, stop this! <laughs> hey, let me go! <laughs> Why, you little brat! I 
I'll help you up. It's unpleasant individuals like that who give humanity such a dreadful reputation. <laughs> Here, just as I promised. Come and look, everybody! <laughs> well, come and have a look. The boy won't bite you, and the tiger won't bite you either. I know Buldeo says the lad is a sorcerer, but Buldeo's wrong. A sorcerer? I'm no such thing! I brought you this tiger today as proof that I keep my promises. Come and look at him. Hmm? <laughs> Listen to me. This creature looks like a boy, but in truth, he's an evil sorcerer, half human, half wolf. You menfolk, you were there. 
You saw him talk to wolves? Yes, I was there. He howled like a wild animal. And then, by magic, wolves appeared. Not only wolves. There was a black panther, too, and a bear as big as my house. And a snake, a huge snake, thick as a tree trunk. Well, Dale's absolutely right about this jungle boy. He is evil. The ancient legends speak of sorcerers who can turn themselves into wolves. Those legends are right. Go away! Go away! Have you all taken leave of your senses? Look at the boy. He's no sorcerer. He's human with flesh and blood and a good heart. It's true Mowgli has skills the rest of us don't have, but that's only because he grew up in the wild. That's a lie! He uses sorcery! I seen him do it! We should treat him away! Be gone from this place, evil spirit. Be gone from this place and never return. In Shiva's name, I command you, go! Go, evil wolf sorcerer, and never curse this place again. Be gone, sorcerer! Be gone! Maybe the wolf sorcerer's magic is too strong even for the priest go vendor. <laughs> go back where you came from! Go back where you came from! Back where you came from! Back where you came from, 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 back where you Two. Wait! Jamira, I have to say goodbye now. No! Don't you see? I can't stay. I have to go. I'm not wanted here, but I'll always remember the kind things your family did for me. And most of all, I'll remember you. Oh. Jamira, goodbye! Hmm? <sighs> Tiger skin belongs to me. Drop that skin, boy. This will scare him. safe here. Mm. Goodbye, Mowgli. I won't forget you. Everyone in the jungle is waiting to congratulate you, Mowgli. 
Defeating Shere Khan was a great feat. It sure was. The jungle lived in fear of that tiger. You alone had the courage to face him, and you won. I did have help. That's true. I guess we deserve some credit, too. You sure do. Shere Khan was defeated by the sons of Alexander. But you let us, Mowgli. It's true, Man Cub, and your leadership was worthy of Alexander. Welcome home, Mowgli. <laughs> Thanks, Chill. <laughs>